So I thought I'd bring the mini vapor out. I haven't had it out, I guess, since I was flying it indoors last winter or whatever. And it really is very much an indoor plane. It is just unbelievably minute. I mean, it makes even that uh, micro tiger moss look solid. And as you can see, what tiny little breath of wind there is now is blowing it around. Um, it takes its own little 70 milliamp hour batteries. I don't think you'd get away with flying it with anything heavier because it's just tiny. And I don't think you can bind it to a regular transmitter. Oh, there you go, it's bound. It comes with this, uh, um, this is, oh, DSM-2, so maybe you could. Hmm. Uh, it's interesting. Maybe you could. It says specifically on it, it says Spectrum DSM-2 technology. So if it's DSM-2, see, some things you can't bind, I know. The Stratocam won't bind to a regular transmitter. It was raining like anything a little while ago. It's clear now. I don't think it's going to rain again. And, um... Whatever, and of course you don't get rain and dew when you get rain, but everything's soaked just because it was pouring with, there was a storm went through uh, a little while ago. It was pouring with rain, it was pouring with rain when I got up. But I looked at the radar and it looked like it was just a transient storm, and then there wasn't going to be anything else for a while. So let's see if we can fly this. It flies a bit weirdly. It's three channel, and it, it really does fly quite strangely. Well, let's see. We'll, if I can get it to fly, you'll see. See what I mean? It flies, it tends to fly in a very high aspect ratio, very high alpha. <laughs> and it's hardly got enough power. To, it, there's, there's only a breath of wind, but it's hardly got enough power even to move forward, even against that little breath of wind. So it's, uh, you know, I mean, as I say, it makes that, uh, well, I'm trying to turn it round as well, because since I can't move it, it's kind of hard to turn it round. It's, it's, it's hard to fly, if you can call this flying. You know, it's like some sort of weird little insect more than anything else, and it's not, I don't know. I, I just recharge these batteries, but they just don't seem to hold any power anymore. Uh... Yeah, I mean, it, it makes that, it, it makes the, uh, the, uh, that little tiger moss look like a high-powered, highly functional plane, basically, this. <sighs> it really has absolutely no sort of power and very limited maneuverability. Now see, there is some wind. It's going downwind there. You can tell, although you can see that, the, I don't know, the, the, the uh, windsock is hanging almost completely uh, on moving, but this thing, you know, is so light and tiny that even the, you know, the merest breath of wind, and there is a breath of wind, I can feel a breath of wind on my face. I mean, there is a breath of wind. <sighs> oh, well, we're getting some air under the wings now, which is managing to keep it up. The wings, uh, you know, it's like, they make the bigger one, the one they just call the vapor, and there's a night vapor, which has little leads on it, and this is the mini vapor, which is the smallest one they make, and it's just like a little wire and carbon fiber fr uh, uh, frame with uh, some sort of, I guess it's mylar or something, some sort of little plastic covering on it. It's tiny. Um, I think, I'm trying to think, I'll have to look when we bring it down. I think it does actually have some sort of micro servers on it, unlike the, um, the, the micro tiger moth. The micro tiger moth um, has magnetic, just has magnetic actuators to operate the tail. But the micro tiger moth, you know, flies quite like a plane. You can fly it round, you know, in a circles and figures of eights and whatever. This thing, I don't know, it feels like trying to radio control a butterfly or something. It just sort of drifts around. It doesn't really feel like it's flying like any sort of normal plane or a kite, a little tiny kite or something.
That's, it does not feel like flying a nor any kind of normal RC plane. But it's sort of interesting. I was no, I didn't. Uh, what's it? Oh, it's running out of power. I'm going to say, I no, I didn't do that. It's just uh, there's no more power. That's its engine gone. That was it. That was as much engine running as the battery was able to do. It's also, you've got to be very cold to pick it up since there's virtually nothing to pick it up by. So you, you, you don't want to pick it up by the back because that's just the rods going to the back. And it does indeed, it has two linear servos on it. It has two little linear servos. You can see there. It has two little linear servos and a tiny, tiny little motor. Uh, Everything says everything's soaking wet, be not because of dew, but because it poured with rain not long ago. Okay, so there you go. Try and disconnect it and turn off its little transmitter. The that's the mini vapor. They don't even call it micro, but I would tend to call it micro, but anyway, I did have to put a bit of tape with the, the, the mile I was coming apart there and letting air through, which was impeding its or even already limited flying ability, but there you go. A stranger flyer as, as anything with wings I've ever flown, I think.